Hello friends, welcome back for another video. If you're new around here, my name is Sandy K, and I make Mommy, YouTube videos once a week as I'm figuring it out with my almost three-year-old son and my daughter, Jordy Ray, who is just over one. It would mean so much to me if you do enjoy my content that I put out that you do subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and we are getting closer to it. I should also mention that I am currently 36 weeks pregnant with baby number three. The baby is kicking me, reminding me like, mom, I'm in here too. <laughs> Don't forget to mention me. And also sorry about the funky lighting from the blue. Let's go ahead and dive into the questions we go through each month, which first off is how old is Trenner and he is two years and 11 months old. Literally next month he will be three. I really can't believe it. So many mixed feelings about it. As far as milestones, Trenner has been more independent and creative with his play. He's been loving long pieces of string and taping things together like he taped a car with our laundry basket on front of it and was pushing his sister around the house so he really does have some great ideas. He also has been more independent with scissors and knives and we've been giving him a little bit more freedom with that as we're keeping a watchful eye of course. For first this month he's just been a hoot making us laugh. He'll do this muscle man walk showing us his muscles and do an old man walk. Something that Trenner also started being able to do this month is buckle himself in his car seat all by himself, which is super helpful for me so I only have to get Jordy Ray in her car seat. And also will be nice as we are adding a third baby. As far as play this month, Trenner more so than playing with toys. Like I said, he's just creative in what he'll play with, but he just likes to be helping me with whatever I'm doing which a lot of the time is baking or cooking something so he's great about helping me pour things into the Bosch mixer for bread and other things that we're making. What Trenner likes or loves this month, he's been loving this doctor book we've been reading. He requested it like two times in one day and then two times the next day. I feel like I had the words memorized by the end. Trenner also loves building forts with his dad and riding on his back and doing more rough play, acting like dinosaurs. We went to my in-laws house and Trenner had a kick just sitting on a broken snowmobile and fixing it with his tools and he would just act like he's riding it, holding onto the handlebars, going for little quick little rides with his dad on the 110 in the backyard and he is just all boy. He loved digging in the dirt and filling up a little dirt spot with hose water to make a little mud bath. There was also a huge bonfire going on for homecoming weekend and also a parade and so Trenner really enjoyed those and just playing with his cousins of course. Things Trenner doesn't like, we've been trying to have dad put him to bed sometimes and like last night we tried it and he did end up crying and I finally went in and realized dad didn't leave his door open and that's, I'll get into that later, but that's something we've started doing. But yeah, he does have a hard time, but with this third baby coming, I'm like, okay, we're gonna have to start having dad do it a little more, even though I love putting him to bed and getting those snuggles. But in reality, when I have three kids, I won't be able to put him to bed every night. Dad, get off my bed. Yeah, you said daddy get off my bed, huh? Yeah. You only wanted to snuggle with mom? <laughs> and off your pillow. As far as food, Trenner can now open the fridge by himself, the little lock latch, and so there's no point in locking it anymore. And we just, I need to designate like a bottom drawer to just some healthy snacks he can grab out and everything. But he's been more independent, which has actually been nice with just getting food out and he's less of the mischievous of getting the syrup and milk or, you know, he's not making messes most of the time. Fingers crossed. Socially, he was playing with his cousins and also got to meet his newest little cousin who was only less than two weeks old. She was super precious and tiny and Trenner was so sweet wanting to hold her and was just rubbing her belly and her head and super gentle. So that was so sweet to see. As far as potty training, Trenner has continued to do very well. I don't think he's even had one miss this week. He's been better about going poop only on the toilet. Well, not really. 
he still goes on the mini potty, but like it's half and half now where he'll get up on the big toilet, which I think is just better and more convenient for flushing. He's done better in public bathrooms. Like one time at Walmart, he didn't go when I could tell he needed to go. And then two minutes later, he's like, I need to go pee. So we went back to the bathroom and then took him and he was able to go. So he's getting better with public settings. The only complaint is that he did put like a fourth to a half roll of toilet paper all the way in the toilet, flushed it, and then it was like, you know, about to flood over. So we had to use the plunger. So that was not ideal. One more thing that I'll mention is he has now gone three nights without having any pee in his diaper. He'll go pee before bed and then around 6, 6.30, right when he wakes up in his potty in his room. He might be able to ditch diapers here soon completely. As I was mentioning before, as far as sleep, he likes his door left open because we had a little baby proofing handle. So I need to just take that off. Might as well so we can close his door and he can just open it by himself. He has been proving to be good about staying in his room all night only coming out if he like really needs something or like if he peed and needs me to dump his potty which you know I appreciate that in the morning so he is definitely a more independent kid being a big brother Turner has been super sweet this month it seems like they have been fighting a little less and he's just been trying to be more helpful even though sometimes that's what makes her mad because she's very independent as well. And so if he's trying to help her with something, she gets mad at him. But when she was crying in the stroller, she'll like sit down to the base of the stroller and he'll be at the top. He just reached his hand back and was holding her hand and it just melted my mom heart. I was like, that is the sweetest thing. And he'll say, don't cry, Ray. And he'll say, don't go on the road, please. Like we don't want a car to hit you. And just, he loves to be a helper constantly trying to teach her and help her so that's really sweet to watch overall this month has been super great Trenner has just been more independent like I've been saying also not to jinx anything but Trenner has seemed a little bit easier this month as far as not making big messes or testing boundaries as much but just kind of gotten his groove in life just enjoying being creative and interacting with the world and just playing so that has really been nice. I cannot get over that my little baby is gonna be three years old, not so much my baby anymore. The boy that made me a mama. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.